हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ लक्ष्मी प्रसन्न नहर सेटी आई एम थर्टी वन इयर्स ओल्ड सफरिंग फ्रॉम एस वी टी विच इज सुपर वेंट्रिकुलर टैकी कैडिया इट्स अ वन ऑफ द डिसीज रिलेटेड टू हार्ट सो इट इट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इयर्स एगो ड्यूरिंग माई फर्स्ट प्रेगनेंसी एंड आई हार्ड थ्री एपिसोड्स वेर आई वर ट्रीटेड विथ फर्स्ट फर्स्ट टू एपिसोड्स विथ सम अदर हॉस्पिटल्स and for the third time i came to care hospitals where i felt lo- so happy and uh, so comfortable with that care taken by the hospital so after 2 years like uh, recently like on 11th august 2022 i had another episode which is a fourth episode of svt uh, where i came directly to the care hospital by just simply trusting the uh, treatment that they did for the third the episode which happened in 2020 uh, so that care taken by them was very uh, fine very happy and very good um, where they suggested like dr ashutosh kumar uh, he suggested me to uh, have a permanent fix for this uh, disease where instead going for uh, every time taking injections within the limited uh, time uh, so that may not happen with all the situations so he uh, suggested to have a permanent fix uh, through a procedure called um, rfa which is called radio frequency ablation uh, he did uh, the procedure very well uh, with a very uh, uh, you know very painless procedure with 3d mapping uh, which is very brilliant and even i didn't feel that i had a surgery or something even it can be a major or minor uh, so he did very well and even uh, the confidence in doing that while doing the procedure itself he spoke to me very well very friendly and even i didn't have a kind of fear in me uh, saying that i am undergoing some surgery or something so that is related to the procedure and post uh, procedure uh, care was taken by the staff nurses and uh, hospitality it was very good and housekeeping people took care of me like a family where i felt so relaxed initially i felt so panic because it's the first time i was admitted in the hospital the care taken by the people was very uh, you know felt like a, a house environment where i didn't really feel like it's a hospital or something uh, and uh, i really felt glad and uh, uh, for thanks for giving me this opportunity for providing this kind of review it's a heartfelt review and i feel so gratitude uh, for the lifetime because they made me medicine free uh, for the lifetime for this disease so thanks for this and i really appreciate the team uh, care hospitals for providing me the opportunity uh, in this way at least uh, showing my kind of gratitude towards you and uh, great work team keep going i i would suggest this not only for uh, this kind of uh, uh, procedure any kind of procedure there i spoke to many patients uh, beside me uh, beside my uh, i mean like a neighbors uh, they felt like very happy uh, even for the, those procedures as well so i would suggest uh, care hospitals for any kind of uh, heart related diseases thank you thank you again hi everybody i am dr ashutosh kumar i am clinical director of cardiac electrophysiology at care hospital hyderabad today i am here to uh, discuss regarding one of the case which we have done recently and this is a case of uh, psvt the patient was having palpitation for a long time almost for 3 years during the pregnancy it was dis- detected for the first time and later on two times already she has taken medicine and it is getting on and off even on the medications so we planned for eps rfa patient concern was that the patient is having family history of some cancer and they were having concern that when you are giving a radiation she may also develop the uh, cancer in the future so can it be possible to do the eps rfa with low radiation or no radiation so we took this case for the uh, 3d mapping of the arrhythmia 3d mapping just let me make the difference what is the conventional uh, ep study in which uh, we are doing the procedure in which we are placing three catheters in three location and by the fluoroscopy fluoroscopy is nothing it is a x ray live x ray means what we are taking a single shot in the x ray here we are going to run the same x ray over a particular frame rate and we are seeing how the catheters are behaving inside the heart and then later on locating it 
the arrhythmic focus and then we are ablating. This is the conventional EP study. So we have, we have punctured the three veins and we have put three channels and these are the three catheters which is going to take the electrical activity in the system. That is the computer system on which we are reading from where this tachycardia or these beatings are originating and we are understanding the circuit of the tachycardia. And this is, now you can show. This is the thing which is ongoing. The patient heartbeat has increased and fluoroscopically we have placed the three catheters. And these three catheters are giving the inputs regarding the electrical activity in the different part of the heart. Now we will terminate the tachycardia. Terminate the tachycardia. So we have induced the tachycardia, now we are going to terminate. So we are having maneuver, we are going to terminate the tachycardia. So heart rate was around 208, now we are reducing the heart rate by different maneuvers. It is a somewhat resistant tachycardia, not easily being permitted. Now the tachycardia has terminated. Now the heart rate has fallen to 123, which was initially 100 and 210. Coming to the patient, uh, when we have to reduce the radiation, we are having some more options nowadays and we call as a 3D mapping. So in the 3D mapping, we can still do all the rhythmic evaluation or focus of the arrhythmia by creating a geometry of the heart on the computer system. So we take the catheter and through the same catheters and the patches which has been placed on the patient chest and the back, we are able to locate how the catheter is moving inside the heart. And by locating, when we have reached to the focus, we just make a particular anatomy or we can say the shell of the heart and then we bring the arrhythmia, locate it and later on ablate it. So this is called 3D mapping. So 3D mapping reduces the uh, fluoroscopy or you can say the X-ray or the uh, radiation exposure to the patient. And this is particularly very important when the patient is in the childbearing age group or the patient is not knowing that she has missed the period or she is in the in and around that period, what you call uh, caring also, when the medicine is totally refractory, means the patient has been given all sort of medicines and still the tachycardia or arrhythmia is ongoing. In that situation, 3D mapping is a boon for the patient because here we are reducing the radiation and since most of the time we uh, don't do the procedure during the pregnancy, but yes, if the condition demands or if it is becoming uh, uh, medically refractive, in that situation we do the uh, 3D mapping in which there is a no radiation or low radiation for placing the catheters and ablating. So this patient we did all the procedure from puncture to placement of catheter, bringing the arrhythmia and later ablating all within one hour and without radiation. So this is a something unique for this patient and patient felt very good for the that the procedure was without radiation. So this is regarding the procedure which we have conducted at our center and it, this technology is giving a lot of precision when we are doing the arrhythmia and reduces the radiation to the patients. Thank you so much. See you next time.